good everyone my name is graphics today we want to transform these two views into isometric now this is the elevation and this is the plan right since we are drawing isometric we need to draw the axis of the isometric right so this is what we have we have the y-axis this way and we have the x axis this way, right? This is the x axis, and this here is giving us the z axis here, right? So, the next thing we are going to be doing now is to know the length, right? This is two views means it is a symmetrical object, right? So we know that the length will be equals to what? The width, right? So what is the length? Let's see. Now if you look closely, the length here is given to be what? 60. Why is it 60? If this is 60 and you're having a square behind the 60 or will I say in front of the 60? So meaning that what? All the sides are what at 60 since we have the square here. So it means from here to here is 60, from here to here is 60, from here to here is 60, and also from here to here is 60. So if from here to here is 60 in the plan, so that means from here to here also be 60 in the elevation, right? So the length is 60 and the height is 70. So I'll measure it this way. So when I place it this way, I'll measure 60. Is a symmetrical object since two views are given so both sides the length and the width will be what 60. So this is 60 here right and also there's another 60 here that again and the height like i said earlier is what is 70. so this is the height here 70 from this point upward here is given as what 70. So I will make them form a box. So in forming a box, I'm going to be having this this way. Right? So if I do that, I'm going to be having the vertical this way. So this will be what we have here. Then I'll come here also. I'll do the same thing too. This way. Now, what I use to draw this, right? That is what I'm going to use to connect this also. This way. And what I use to connect this, right? That's what I'm going to use to connect this to. That again. Now we'll move forward. We'll continue from here. So what I used to draw this, right? That is what I'm going to use for this. This point here. And um, the same thing that where I used to draw this is what I will use to draw this because we want them to be what parallel. Now this is what we have here. Is that the king? This is what we do what? This is what we surely have here. Now let's see. Now if you look at this figure very well, right? We say the height is 70, which we have done. Now look at the height of 45. Will be where we truncate this triangle right so the height of what of 45 so let me do that the height of what of 45 so from here i'm going to measure 45 this is 45 here is that again and um, what else again i'm going to form a box around it right because what i'm seeing here means that what i'm forming a box around it this is the base here, which is this, and this other part here is the height of what? 
of um, 45. So I'm going to form a box around it this way. So if I'm doing that, I will have this. Don't form a box there. This way. Then I'll do the same thing here too. And then with this. So I've done that and I'll come here also. I'll cover it up. Now what do you notice? I've covered it up to form the box, right? Now the next thing I'm going to do, I'm going to get the center of it, of this box here. Why am I doing that? Because if you look at your diagram closely, this is at the center. This is what? This is at the center here. So I need to get the center of this box here in order to get that center here, right? So let's do that. So the half of 60 is 30. So if I should measure six, half of 60 here, which is 30, so this is 30 here, right? Now the same thing here also, half of 60 is also what is 30, and this is 30 here. And I'll use my C square to cover it up. So when I draw this, and also I'm going to do this too. So where they meet here is the center. Now if you look at the box very well, now the box given there is um now if you look very well, right? They didn't actually give us the distance. They just mean we just truncate it at a height of 45, but they didn't tell us the length of this. So what I will just do is I'll simply just use 30, each distance will be what 30. Since from here to here is 60, then I'll just use 30. Since it's not given, right? So you can use any dimension since it is not given as a question. So let me just use any dimension here. So with the help of my compass, I'm going to measure at least, let's say 15 each. That will make my 30. So I'll place it this way and I'll measure 15 each. Right? Now when I place it here, I'll be having... 15 right 15 15 and 15 so if i use my c square i'll be having it this way so you can use any dimension there otherwise stated so i can just stick in it since i know where i'm going to i'm going from here to here and I'm also I am moving from here to here. Also, I am moving from here to here. Also, from here to here. Then all this point here is thickened. And um, this point here also is thickened. Right? So I can easily join the four corners together. The size is stated. The four corners are joined. If you look at the diagram, you see a line this way. It's joined in this. You see another one this way. It's joining this. You see this this way. It's joining this, right? The other third one, you will not see because it is hidden. Right? So this is the truncated first one, right? Is the first room of a, of a square pyramid so we have truncated it right and if you want to just show that okay you know what exactly you are doing you can just easily put your hidden line in there to show uh, I know what I am doing so since you cannot see the inside of it you use your hidden line that is small dash that are evenly distributed so I'll come here also use the hidden line and um, just this will be hidden line from this point where they meet here so it will be hidden line now why is the hidden line it is not a true it is a solid right it is a solid it is not hollow as I see is the hidden line that we have here. So this is what we have here, right? So if you 
Why am I doing this? If you look at our diagram very well, you discover that we have things like this. This point you see, like this. You can see that. All those lines you see, is what we have. You can see that. And this is the center point here, and this is the center point here. So, if you have found this video helpful, please don't forget to click on the subscribe button. Thanks for watching.